Hi, I'm Suzanne McNeil with Design Originals. I'm a multimedia artist and I publish how-to books also. So today I just wanted to show you that Zentangle actually works wonderfully on clayboard. If you're not familiar with clayboard, they're these wonderful wood cradles with a wonderful soft surface on the top. And uh, with Zentangle, your pen will just glide right across that surface. So I like to use the black micron pens because they stay black even with age. So let me just start working on a Zentangle here. I'm using just the basic process of Zentangle. If you're not familiar with Zentangle, it's a meditative drawing form. It was developed by Rick Roberts and Maria Thomas of Zentangle.com. And it is uh, basically repetitive patterns. I'm sort of uh, replicating the pattern right here on Sandy's Steen Bartholomew's book, Yoga for Your Brain. So basically you're drawing repetitious patterns. And you can see that this micron pen just glides across the surface. It's so wonderful to work with a permanent pen. In this particular shape, it works so nice to do these circles in between. So I'm just, uh, in this free video, I'm just giving you an inkling of what it's like to work with Zentangle. In my full-length video, Zentangle and Watercolor, I go through several different uh, processes and techniques for Zentangle. I don't know about you, but I love all media. I'm sort of an addict of uh, Zentangle and other types of art also. Then you might want to come back and color in some areas. When I do Zentangle, I can, uh, you know, it's all I need is a few pins and a surface to work on. So I can just sit on my sofa at night. I don't have any paint dripping unless I choose to do something with paint dripping like the watercolor process. But basic Zentangle, I'm just working and uh, enjoying myself. There are actually no mistakes because if you draw a pattern, quote, wrong, <laughs> then you can just sort of make up a new pattern. So I wanted to show you, uh, I haven't finished this, of course, but I did want to show you how wonderfully the colored pencils work. Normally I let my ink dry totally. And so I, I like to work in sort of a circle pattern and then I can get darker or build up layers, build up colors with the colored pencils. But that is a wonderful way to work with the clay board. So here's another sample of the clay board. Here I'd been out to uh, New Mexico and seen the Anastasi pottery. So I was in, so inspired by that, I started doing uh, Anastasi-inspired designs on my clay board. Or here is one of the books. This is Sandy Steen Bartholomew's book, Yoga for the Brain. What a perfect term for Zentangle. So Sandy uh, gives all the basics of Zentangle in her book. Lots of different tangle patterns and variations that you can work on. Well, these books by Design Originals are just so packed with so much information. You could work on this with this book for a month before you're ready to buy a new one and take up something new. So I'm just going to keep on working on my Zentangle and uh, being relaxed. You know, all ages can do Zentangle. Even children uh, who take art classes in school actually learn a lot of Zentangle processes. And there are hundreds of different little patterns that you can learn. So you might want to visit my blog at blog.suzannemcneil.com. I give a free Tangle pattern every week. So uh, after a month, you have four. After a year, you have 52 free patterns. Or you can order the books through jerrysartorama.com or through d-originals.com. So uh, just get started with Zentangle. I, I believe you'll like it and find it to be a valuable part of your life. Mm -hmm.